I hope you had a good summer. I was working uh, most of the summer. I'm always working because I like to keep busy and I have expensive taste in real estate. But <laughs> I did take one vacation. It was a lifelong dream of mine and uh, I went to Rwanda to see the mountain gorillas. And I sh I'm sure you remember last season, Portia gave me amazing birthday gift. The Ellen DeGeneres Wildlife Fund is being set up. We're building a campus in Rwanda to help continue the work of one of my idols, Diane Fossey. So in June, yes. <laughs> So in June, Portia and I went to Africa, and before we went to Rwanda, we went to a few countries. We went to Kenya. We stayed at a place called Giraffe Manor. It is a hotel where this herd of giraffes hang out. They come and visit the property. They're free to go anywhere they want, but they come there a lot. It's an amazing place. It smells a little giraffey, but it's uh, <laughs> still amazing. And you're so close to the giraffes. You, and when I say close, I mean really close. That giraffe, it, listen, yeah. It was cute and all, but it ate so much. The bill for breakfast was $400 for, <laughs> just for breakfast. I couldn't believe how comfortable they were around people. And, and then I saw this other camera angle and, yeah, hmm. So then I went to Rwanda, and it is hard to describe how amazing my experience was. If you get a chance to go to Rwanda, I urge you. The country is amazing, the people are amazing, and everyone said, when you see the gorillas, you're gonna see, they're gonna be very, very close, and they were right. You're very close to them. But before you go to look for the gorillas, the guides give you a few rules, and the first rule is, don't ever, whatever you do, point because gorillas take that as a sign of aggression. So when we came across, this is the first gorilla that we saw. Got it, no pointing. <laughs> Luckily, he didn't seem to mind. All these gorillas have been around humans for their entire lives, so they're used to, to people, and it's a small group usually, only like eight people or so, but they're still wild animals, and they're large, so you never know what's gonna happen. So here's a situation we were in. We heard something approaching. We could hear the crackling of, of bushes, and our guide said, everybody stay still. We didn't know what was coming, and then this came through. The 47 years old is joining us. So you can see how close we were, and we're all trying. There's the guy trying to cover me. He runs to me <laughs> to try to protect me. So, so there's Portia, and there's me, and the guide is protecting. So now, all of a sudden, the gorilla decides to go this way. It's a silverback, by the way, which is. That's my sister-in-law ducking down to be respectful. And look, it just it just bumps her as it goes past. Come here. Come here. Then he goes to get her to bring her to me. It's like amazing. I mean, you can imagine you're scared because that was the first gorilla we saw after I had pointed to the other one. And <laughs> And then I was scared, but then I got so jealous that it bumped my sister-in-law. It's like, I want to be bumped by a gorilla. <laughs> you heard me. Um, <laughs> then we went back the next day, and we didn't have to hike as far. This was a different family, a different group of gorillas, and it's like they knew we were coming. They were just waiting for us, and then they asked for tickets to 12 days. <laughs> um, <laughs> so. So this is a different group, like I said, and while we were watching, uh, this is a silverback, another silverback from another group. So you're supposed to duck down, it's respectful. We, I ask people to do that around me. <laughs> 
So you can see it's getting closer, so we decide that we're going to move away. So we move away, and my friends were up there near it, and they move away. Now, this is like as close as I am to you right now. We just couldn't believe. And he just wanted to eat some. <laughs> Everyone else had left, and Portia and I are just right there. They're, they're in the car driving away, and we're just. <laughs> yeah.